Uh, then worse is the fact that the noise of the social media can be hard in order to make our ideas worthy. But personally for me, any idea is worth spreading, but it is dependent on us to make the idea worthy so that the people can follow our ideas and listen to us. That is all about ideas worth spreading. But uh, sometimes ideas are hard to spread because of the media. Because in social media we always see another ideas, new ideas, and we are afraid of the fact that our idea is worse than others. I have a fascinating book about how to make the TED speak uh, worthy and so successful. How to make the ideas worth spreading. That was the question. And this book is about this, how we can make our, the, our ideas worth spreading. Okay, the author of the book interviewed the communication expert, the speakers, the scientists in order to gather uh, information and resource how to make our ideas uh, so successful and why so many TED speeches were um, successful. And uh, the author came to the idea that the resource is uh, our presentation skills. And we should improve our presentation skills and make it in a next level. And here is the point that I uh, took from this book and I will share it with you because it, I thought that it is worth it to share with you. First one is define your mastery. It is the first and the most important thing in order to make your presentation successful. So everyone has the strengths and weaknesses and we should know them. Because when you don't know your weaknesses and strengths, you can uh, improve yourself, you can, can, you can see the progress in yourself. So that's why we should identify our mastery, identify the resource when we see the passion and we can deliver to another person because audience feels when you believe in yourself or when you don't believe in yourself so that's why we should find the uh, second point is communicate something new so uh, people are bored from the things that we say again and again so that's why we should say something new or find a way, a new way, a new approach to a presentation to our speech. So that's why uh, come up with some new ideas and deliver to your audience. Because a lot of people are bored. Like, um, for example, when I come up to this uh, scene, uh, after five seconds, a lot of people are not listening to me because maybe they're bored. But you should find a way to make it interesting for them. After five seconds, whether your audience is listening to you or not. So come up with something new, unleash your creativity, and uh, here you are. The, set, the third one. Yeah, make it a conversation. With condition to deliver the information from the speaker to the audience, and uh, there is no dialogue between us. I'm speaking and you're listening. But a great presentation is when a speaker is delivering an information directly to everyone so that uh, listeners are interested in you. Next. Tell great stories. Stories are interesting and stories are great, especially when you're having a long speech and something is official and professional and you don't know how to deliver it and your audience is bored. But stories about your identity and about yourself is more interesting and it helps you to connect with your audience more and easily. Because by this way your audience will see your identity and your personality. Well, next. And the last point is lighten up. Humor, it's about humor. Humor is an amazing thing, especially uh, in your presentation, because 
as I said earlier, it's something official and you're sometimes getting bored. So humor helps you to lighten up the speech. And uh, one more thing is be careful because bad humor is worse than not having a humor at all. So you can say a bad humor and your audience will get it something bad. So that's why be careful. But we all love fun and we all love laughing. So that's why include a humor in your presentation and in your speech. Next. So thank you for your attention and... That's that.